the video where I talk about how I only wear white. I only wear white. White clothes, <laughs> white shoes, white hats, white jewelry. No, nah, my jewelry. Let me mix it up. My, the base, this, this. <laughs> I only wear white. And it's amazing. But for me, it's not about vanity. It's not about trying to be Lisa Ray. <laughs> it's not about what other people think. It's all about spirituality. Like, my nails are white. And gang, my sheets are white. My shoes are white. Like, I changed my whole wardrobe. Like, I literally sold a bunch of stuff on Offer Up. I gave it away to charity. I still have a bunch of stuff to give away to charity. If you know any cool charities in New York City, list them below. Okay? I um gave them to friends and family. Like, if you follow my channel, then you know I did a lot of haul videos. And they weren't white. Like, there was all the kind of colors in my haul videos. So, like, I got rid of all of those clothes. These are practically new clothes. Things I never wore before. Things I only wore one time. Like, that's how committed I was to it. If I could, my currency would be white. But I'm still in the same apartment that I was in when I moved into my new space. I know that's gonna be white. I'm buying a car. I know that's gonna be white. And then I haven't known for certain so much about anything as I do about how good I feel in white. And I'm gonna tell you why I wear white. For one, I was a part of this spiritual journey and like they asked us to wear white throughout the process and there's probably reasons for that. I'll insert them. But for me, I thought, I was like, I don't know if I could do that. Originally, I felt like an imposter. I felt like that's not who I am. They wanted you to wear white and wear white and look modest and I'm like, have you met me? Yeah, and they're modest about me, I'm very, extraordinary so i'm like i don't know girl i don't know and not just that not just wearing white but i also wear a lot of natural fabrics so like cotton linen things that like came from the earth because i realized that i never really noticed what i was wearing and what it was made of i was so concerned about like what i ate and what i put into my body but i didn't think about what i put on my body like have you ever wore a pair of jeans and like your sneakers or your boots got stains they got like blue or black on them your skin is wearing the same thing like what do you think like that's crazy like not only that it's just i was all in it like whenever i'm into something i'm all the way in so i right, bet let me get me some white clothes so that i could get through this process and i'll be able to be myself like i didn't want to like i'm not gonna start being something i'm not like i'm not gonna do that so let me see how i can make this a part of who i am so i started buying the white things that i felt good in that made me feel beautiful feminine comfortable i love to be comfortable i love to be cozy i love textures i love fringe i love I love layers. I I love fashion. I actually went to school for fashion design. A lot of people don't know that. Now you do. Things to, the things to know. So anyway, I was like, all right, this is an amazing challenge for me. I got all my white stuff. Well, I got my first set of white stuff. I actually did like a couple of hauls, but I didn't even share that. Like I really changed a lot, and it's amazing and it's beautiful and it's just been so re rewarding and fulfilling. So I got the white clothes, and now I'm like, I really trying to dress it up the way I think that. I should do it like on some like spiritual stuff, but like that not and how I rock. Like I am cute with it, so I gotta be cute with it. I gotta be comfortable with it. I gotta be myself with it. Like I can't be inauthentic with it. So I got with it, and I got like officially traditionally organic about it. So now I got my clothes. I've got mostly. I at first it was like all cotton. It was all linen it was all whatever hemp anything that was natural not man-made synthetic a lot of fabrics that we wear are synthetic meaning they're made out of plastics we know what that does in the environment not only that it's just like it's not real so i want to be spiritually in tune that's important for me and in doing that like i can't have anything blocking my my true radiance like not no synthetic fabrics and synthetic materials and chemicals blocking my radiance like anything that's dying stuff i don't need that um i don't need that and i was concerned i was like if i have only white clothes now like i'm gonna have to use bleach all the time i don't even have to use bleach i use um what's it called which is natural i use um lemons i use vinegar i use a lot of things i don't have to do all that and if you would like to know i probably will later on share a video of how i keep my white white without having a contaminate in my body with any chemical all that so i love myself this is why i'm making the effort to do this thing so i don't have to do that i could just buy cheap clothes from cheap places save a little extra money in my pocket and deal with whatever comes with it and then be wondering why my skin breaking out or ah, 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 ah. everything went natural i even started using sanitary napkins that were um because i usually would use tampons to be honest with you sorry to be so like out there but it is what it is but i started using sanitary napkins again because one i didn't want to put nothing up in there why am i doing that what is in that thing i don't even freaking know like no, I remember somebody saying something about something called toxic shock syndrome that you could get from those. I never knew anybody that got it, but I'm like, why would I risk it? 
I'll just wear the freaking sanitary pad. Um, I've not done the diva cup thing. Maybe cool, but I'm just not interested in seeing a couple blood at this point in my life. Yeah. So for me, the pad's good. But I when cotton, they have cotton. I'm like, so what is the it made of? Who the f knows? Like, I don't know. Do you know? Comment below. I have no idea. I'm not going about to buy a box and read it because it's going to aggravate me. So many words. So many words. I like my words to be like cotton. You know what I mean? When you start wearing organic things and living an organic lifestyle, it's a lot of less ingredients and stuff. It's like, oh, what's in this apple? Apple. What's in this orange juice? Oranges. Like, this is the way I like to live my life. And one day we'll get into that, like, as far as, like, food, diet, society. Like, it's a lot. So, let me slow it down. And let me bring it back together. Because this is about why I wear white. And it has something to do with all of that. I'm not just rambling, I swear. In wearing the white, I felt so comfortable. I felt so good. It made me, it reminded me how delicate I am. And as a black woman, like, we don't get that old, not not usually get that old, delicate, fragile experience that our counterparts might get. Like, when I wear white, people just look at me like, oh, wow, so nice, so clean, You're like an angel. Let me treat you with respect. You must be very, like, spiritual. You must be very connected to the earth. So your aura just extra glowing, man. Like, literally, that is the feedback I get. One day I was walking from the hospital where I visited my mom because she was sick. And I want to bring her some soup and I'm bringing her all kind of stuff because I'm cool like that. I bring her stuff and when I'm leaving the hospital, I'm like, a lot. I was like, good. I was in my old white cotton dress looking like, uh, like I stepped off of a throne, okay? Just, mm. And this guy was like, he moved out, out of the street. And I get a lot of attention because, mind you, I usually wear form-fitting clothes. I already have a lot of confidence naturally, or I appear to, even when I'm not in the most confident mood. But I know how to, like, make myself feel confident. So I really, like, tight dresses, tight clothes, and just be like, eh, killing it. Eh. Like, un society would not deny me because that's, like, what's acceptable for being beautiful and, like, sexy and, like, my, my, my demographic. But I never got the feedback and the adoration and respect, the, the, the privileges, the, the sense of of entitlement and just ownership of my beauty that I got like when I wear all white so boom that day here I am uh, 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 in my white dress Hoo -hoo, with my little like I might wear like a sash with a different color depending on what the day of the week is or what I'm going through that week it's all connected I'm that deep with it so I had on something this color like it was like a nice yellow but like a marigold sash over my white dress and i was just looking like dang i was bald headed because my hair's a little long right now but it was really bald headed at the time and i like to keep it bald i don't know what i'm doing right now what am i doing hey, anyway so um yeah so i'm hitting in my my gold joint my sash and i'm just going like i'm telling you people are stopping like you this guy he moved out of the street to let me walk and not like oh i want to talk to you because that's another thing the respect level is different it's different you it's unfortunate that you can't wear a tight dress, short dress, tight ass jeans, whatever, booty shaking outfit, and get the same respect as you can when you just, when you're not. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It's, it's unfortunate because I'm the same person. No, actually, I wasn't, but you know what I mean? Like, it's the same qualities inside of me, but you're just looking at me for this. And whereas when you see me in this light, it's like, you just know I'm deeper than that. And it, you won't even play yourself to approach me with none of that. And it's just so... It's legit. Like, I don't want to be approached like that. Like, I appreciate it. Like, everybody uncle. Like, these uncles are just, like, trying to get at me. I'm like, gosh. No. <laughs> I mean, the young guys, too. But it's like, as they hear uncles come, too. When they see me, these older men, especially, they just respect me so much more. They're like, wow. Like, yes, sister. You just, you're outstanding. Like, I see these girls, they're cute and all that. But you're giving what needs to be gave. And I appreciate that. I do. Because I'm not going to act like I don't put effort in it. Like, I put these little ensembles together. I want to be perceived a certain way. And that's important to me because how you treat me is going to be a reflection of how I treat myself. So, yeah, when I'm in white, it's like, oh, the Uber driver was like, hey, let me clean up the, your seat. Because you're about to come in here with this all white. You look crispy and beautiful and special. And I want to treat you that way. And I'm like, yeah, like, I love this. I love this freaking energy. Like, the way people just treat me, it's just, I can't, I can't describe it. Do it. Do it one day. And not just like, oh, you put on your tight white freaking dress. I mean, put on something that's white. Maybe it's not tight, right? This is an experiment. I'm challenging you. Put on something white, all white. Not put it, put their intention to that you're like of peace and love and just like letting what's within be what people see. Like, yeah, they can see this too, but also your energy greets people before you ever do. So, yeah, my energy just, I can't wear white and I feel confident in white because my energy was just so pure. Like, I was on it. Not to say I'm not now, but it's just, especially at that time, I was 
Mm. I'm gonna stay. It was a vibe. So anyway, just love the way I'm being treated in a way. So I, that, why would I change? Like if I'm loving the way people are perceiving me, receiving me, and treating me, and the way that um feeling personally even without how other people feel away from that why would i change it i just started getting more into it i'm like fuck this white shit is cool it also reminded me like to be neat to be like feminine to be um to be like uh like i said delicate and just angelic because i'm like oh wait i can't i can't be messing with y'all i can't be doing certain things like it's just like i'm an all white so no oh i can't do that it's like oh no ooh, i can't do that mm have fun with that i can't i can't participate in that do you see me like we don't do that come on it's regal <laughs> it is very much that so then i all my sheets were white everything is white it's just the way i started treating my things i'm like i gotta be a specific way to even exist in this environment because i'm a dirty it soil it i don't want my stuff to be soiled and then that's when you really gotta get bleach out and this down and there but if you you know you might get a little here a little there but it's nothing that you can't like a little soap water won't get won't fix so I just like the lifestyle of all white, which is hilarious. That's a lot of people, especially me, because I used to crack jokes about people who had white everything. I thought y'all was crazy. Like when I, if I came into your house and everything was white, I'll be like, oh, okay, you like drama. You want problems, always, okay. You want problems, you don't like peace, okay. Because it's like, you wanna be out here like, oh, take off your shoes, don't do that, don't do this. But the thing is, my mindset was just so different I was just so used to like I used to love black because it just felt like I could do whatever I want. I didn't have to worry about how I was moving around in the world because it was like, yeah, if something's spilling me, I'll be good. If this is it, and I noticed that more. Like a lot of people that are really extremely close to me, they all like basically only wear black or they all are always in black. And I'm like, hmm, it's very interesting. And then like when I'm contrasting with them, like when I'm out with them, because I'm still gonna be with the people that I'm with. It's like I'm not gonna change who I love or how I feel about the people that I love. Only they could change that. Yeah, so when I'm out with them, it's like, we look like opposites of traffic situation. Or if I'm walking down the street, my old, because it's winter time when I started doing this, my coats are white, my, like, my hat, my scarf, my gloves are white. Like, I'm all white. People looking at me like, that ass? That ass. Anyway, so when I'm outside and somebody, I walk past somebody, they have all black, they just look at me like, oh my gosh. But like, they, people feel like it's something going on there. Like, who's wearing all white all the time? Like, what are you doing? It's very interesting. And I've only received positive, positive feedback. Many stares and stuff like that. But people are like, oh my God, yes. Whew. Especially the Jamaicans. Jamaicans, and no disrespect, my father's Jamaican. But um, Jamaicans love love to see all white. They be like, yes, you're all white. You know what my favorite thing is? All white. They just always telling me that they love all whites. And I'm like, okay. Hey. Thank you. And I always used to joke on them too because they always see when you see a man with white pants, he was either Dominican or Jamaican. Like, who's wearing white jeans? Where you going, sir? What party is this? And they stepping out like, let me show you. Let me show you. Let me show you. Gotta get back. The tight white skinny jeans. Talking about they trying to talk to somebody at some party. Like, you know, you look like a painter. And I always made fun of people that were all white because I thought they were weird. But maybe if there are people that do see me I'm like, oh, she's weird. She's not all white. Why is she doing that? Oh my gosh. But I don't care. I don't do it for people. The way people feel and receive. Receive me as a bonus. I do because I like how I feel. I feel so good. I feel clean. I know my joint is clean. Like you can see everything. Like you know when your joint is clean. It's like ooh. And you know how it is. Like when you wear white, you be like, oh, how? Like how did that get there? It probably got you on your other stuff too, where you just didn't notice it. Like you notice things more. You just hyper aware. I'm aware more of what I'm doing, how I'm moving in this world. And awareness is everything for me. Like that is why I do spiritual spiritual work. It's not so I could, not so much about what happens to me in the afterlife. That's a bonus, but I don't know. <laughs> anyway, not nobody really knows. So it's not so much about that. It's just about being present and being aware, and trying to live life. Cause life is for living. So if I'm gonna be out here, I want to enjoy life and I want to be present. I want to be aware. I don't want to be stuck in the past. I don't want to be focused too much on the future. I do focus on the future a lot, I, and I do be the past. Past be trying to. Not to catch up to me. But it's not about that for me. It's about even with all that being said, getting the strength and the skill set, honing the craft of being present and being in my all white baby. It brings me to reality. It brings me to present. Like I'm here. I cannot not be here if I'm all white. Like when I want to get my hair cut, I talked about this in my video about how I shave my head. The barber was like, Oh my god, you got an all white, let me clean your chair. Like that's the type of energy I get. Like even the people around me are aware. Like I'm here. I'm present. 
You know what I mean? And I'm very fragile. I yeah, guess. You're not about to stain me. You're not about to just bump me. Like, people see me in my oil. They're not bumping me. They might put some of their nastiness on me. Like, don't do that. And I, I need to protect my energy anyway. Like, so... It's just a reflection of how I feel inside. Like, my, my desire to be pure. To be just my whole self. A blank canvas. A clean slate. <sighs> oh, that just sounds so good. It feels so good. So, yeah. That's why I only wear white now. I'm going to show you some of my outfits that I be wearing. I bought so much. Uh, uh, oh, another thing too. And this is the last thing. I had to stop wearing makeup like that when I started wearing white. Like since I started wearing white, it probably be like five months. And I don't wear makeup. Like I just started wearing makeup because I just started doing YouTube again. But I stopped wearing makeup. My skin just was like, oh, the air is clear. This is so nice. Don't you pile that shit on me again. But I did. I'm sorry, my face yeah but i you know i make sure i keep it clean because you, you gotta be aware I love, I love wearing white hats i love wearing white head wraps like i got makeup on i didn't get all on it like and then how do you you know how to get makeup out of white it's so hard i'm brown my stuff is white that makeup brown stuff on white looks like looks like boo boo okay i'm just saying what it is it is what it is i'm gonna say it okay so i don't want to be out here looking like i boo boo on my clothes boo boo on my body boo boo on my my, my beautiful whites okay because nobody want to see that i don't want to see that i don't want to have to deal with that in the laundry mat i feel like when i wash my clothes now everything's gonna get like a little tint to it because something in there had some brown on it so literally i'll wash those things separately i'm probably right so i'm not gonna change about that so yeah that's that's just it so i love wearing white and and not wearing makeup it really made me embrace my true beauty because that's something i didn't realize that i wasn't doing because i was just so used to wearing makeup it just felt like i was used to wearing makeup i was used to doing putting filters on my face on my photos which is another thing that's a whole other conversation i stopped doing that too like why am i why am i putting a fucking filter on and i would even use like a, just like a soft filter that's not a cat or a dog or something but it's not even a identifiable filter it was just like trying to look perfect all the time just take if you take care of your skin you eat healthy you treat yourself well it shows nobody's walking around here without any flaws i think that having your flaws and being individual makes you perfect i believe everyone is perfect we'll have another conversation about it another time so i used to say oh nobody's perfect i'm not perfect would you expect me to be perfect oh you made for the perfect person yeah i am perfect i am absolutely 100 percent perfect just the way i am and so are you if you want to make improvements to we are already perfect you're already perfect self i'm so proud of you i'm happy for you because you ain't gotta do nothing all you got to do is be yourself and that's enough all this desire this this um this innate longing to be perfect to have perfect to present perfect when this world itself is not i don't even want to say it's not because i believe everything is perfect when this world is perfect even in its chaos that's a reflection of you you in all your messiness or or not i don't even know i don't want to say it. you're perfect period i am perfect can i improve sure who the who said perfect can't be better what's better than perfect if you, i'm already imagine how good my confidence would be if i changed that ideology that i'm not perfect well i'll tell you it'd be up about a thousand percent because i am perfect i'm making improvements to a already perfect thing like it means i'm only getting better like i'm, I'm better than perfect now isn't that a way like a way better way to think about yourself instead of like yeah I got a lot of growth to do. I ain't perfect. No, you are you perfect. You born like this? Yes. Is this the way that you have become over time because of the things that you've been through? Yes. Then you're perfect. You, that's what it is. Can you improve on perfection? Absolutely. Don't let them tell you you can't. Because when the iPhone came out, it was perfect. And then you know what? An update came out. And it was even more perfect. And every time something is getting improved, it's becoming more perfect. So why not you? Why not me? So the biggest question I get is how long am I going to be wearing whole white? Is this like my whole life now? People always ask me, like, so you can do this forever? And I think they ask me that because they want my clothes. Because I still have things that I'm like, I'm not giving this up. I just bought it so pretty. And I have to wear it at least one time. And also I still have a desire for color. So I think I would wear color sometimes. Not just as a compliment to my white. But if I felt like it, if it was like so every day of the week has a color. Every different occasion and experience in your life has these different colors associated with it. And that's another thing we can talk about. If you're interested, you got to let me know like getting them comments be like you know what do that video so let's expand on that and i will so yeah so those occasions when i feel like you know what it's a red day <laughs> i'm gonna do it because there's nobody there's nobody telling me what to do this is my experience and i'm free to explore that and like i said you can't improve on perfect so i decided you know what i had my time wearing white i'm done with wearing white I, i've came i'm so i conquer 
and now I'm moving on to just regular other colors like regular everybody else and sure but I don't like to look like everybody else that was why when I cut my hair I just felt so good because I'm a hairstylist and people literally would see me and be like oh my hair just like that that's kind of how I got into business and or yeah I would have clients they'll book a style and a service they'll pay their deposit and they'll get there and they'll see my hair and they'll be like yeah can you do that instead I'm like I want to look like myself but I do want to inspire people and I have done a, I have done my fair share but yeah i want to look like myself so when i wear all white and you you know you out here wearing what everybody else wearing your instagram costume where you're like society what acceptable suit you do that and like i don't i want to just be myself and i love that like am i saying that other people don't wear all white it's how you wear it so it's how you wear it and i just feel like myself and i love to feel like myself because i want to be like everybody else we live in a world where everybody wants to be like somebody or uh, uh individuality is becoming a scarcity where to the point like the people who are are, are called creatives <laughs> if you're an individual you're creative now what no i'm just myself i'm not a freaking creative i'm not okay but i guess all right that, maybe again if y'all want to talk more about these sub contextual concepts we can do that but right now i gotta go this video is longer than i thought it would be i mean it's just about wearing white something is wrong with me <laughs> i'm sorry i'm sorry i'm sorry i'm i apologize